Hello there. Today we're talking Hollywood Hot Wheels, part one. Yes, hello and welcome to the channel. So I have quite a few Hot Wheels in my collection and of that collection of Hot Wheels, I have quite a few Hollywood Hot Wheels, vehicles that have appeared in movies and TV shows. So I was thinking, right, okay, let's do a couple of videos highlighting these particular Hot Wheels. So as you can see in front of you, we have two Ecto ones. We have Ecto one, Ecto one A, and we have a whole gaggle of DeLoreans. I'm not quite sure what the collective term of DeLoreans is. A gaggle is definitely the wrong word. Right. Anyway, um, if you like this video at any point, make sure you hit that like button. That's what it's there for. Maybe you know someone else who likes Hot Wheels and you're thinking of sharing this video with them. Please do go ahead and do that. And if you're new to the channel, why not think about subscribing? Right, okay, let's get into this then. Okay, we are going to start with the Ghostbusters and we're starting with the Ghostbusters because one, that movie came out in 1984, whereas Back to the Future came out in 1985. And two, it's the first movie I ever saw at the cinema. Back to the Future being the second movie I saw at the cinema. Ghostbusters. So here we have the Ecto-1 and the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2. Now, these, I think I picked them up in a two pack. I think, uh, I think they cost me about 10 pounds, something like that. Picked them up from a, uh, a, a Smith's toy store in the UK when I was visiting one, one time, I think about four or five years ago. Now, um, this Ecto-1, I've noticed you can take the top off and you can actually see inside. And you can see where they store all their equipment. It's actually got proton packs here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Bit of a glary ring on it. But it's really cool. These are the um, higher quality Hot Wheels with the sort of rubbery wheels. Although, yeah, no, they're, they're quite, everything is uh, metal, die cast. Although they don't really roll very well. They are more for display purposes than for play. In fact, the back wheels on this one are completely jammed up, which is um, fantastic. Right, again, display purposes, not, not for playing. And then here we have the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2. Mildly disappointing movie, but still, when you compare it to modern day movies, I think it's probably the second best Ghostbusters movie. Now, I'm not sure why in the movie they, they, they changed, the Ghostbusters changed their sign to the Ghostbusters 2 logo. Surely they should have just kept the original No Ghost logo instead of it. Anyway, I'm sure they done it for um, story purposes and nothing to do with shifting merchandise. The same as they did the updated X01. I'm sure that was done for um, story purposes. Again, this one, it's, it's basically exactly the same. It's just got the different decals, the different top. This one, the top doesn't really come off as easy as it does on here. And I'm not going to pull it off, but I'm guessing the insides of this are exactly the same as the original X01. This one's got tire tr actual tread on the tires which is pretty cool and um, that's about it really and there's not much more to say about this so um, they're the Ecto-1s <laughs>
so here we are with the Back to the Future DeLoreans. So um, here we have, this is just a standard DeLorean, nothing Back to the Future about it. Standard Hot Wheels DeLorean, whoopsie do. Basically got it because um, I like DeLoreans. When I saw the movie, yeah, I would have been about seven years old, and I could not believe that there was no toy cars to play with. There, if there was, I, I never found them. They were never available where, where I was. And all I wanted was a DeLorean. And now, whenever I see one, I have to buy one. It's because I'm a little bit mental. Um, right, okay. Original DeLorean. I have another one. All black, but I'm not showing that now because I can't be asked. Um, here we have the Hot Wheels standard time machine DeLorean. This one would have been from the first movie because it's got no Mr. Fusion on the back. Even has the number plate out of time on the back there. But the, the logo is a little bit off center blue windscreen for whatever bizarre reason they decided to put blue transparent plastic in there but other than that it's that's a reasonable toy and i think this was one euro 50 or something it was the same price as the standard one the standard one comes with clear transparent glass and not blue also has different wheels don't know how they decide what wheels they're going to put on a car anyway so there you go there your bog standard normal delorean and time machine and this one is the upgraded collector's model same as the ecto ones so this is full die cast much more detail clear transparent plastic painted mr fusion and a few other spots of paint on there also the out of time license plate on the back and here the dmc is in the middle bad quality control although i do believe that this one the basic one has the right color for the license plate i do believe it should be blue and not yellow I'm also not wearing my glasses, so I can't actually tell what that says on the back there. Come back to that in a bit. Now, here on the background, you can see I have the DeLorean from Back to the Future 2 in its flight mode. This is also just a bog standard Hot Wheels version. It's the toy. As you can see the Mr. Fusion isn't painted. It also has a yellow number plate but with no writing on it, just a blob of silver, unless I, my eyes really are not working. But yeah, well again, it's got blue transparent plastic uh, windshield. does have little wheels underneath so you can play with it as a toy which is convenient for a toy really that you can play with it but as you can see I got this this was a plastic wine glass where I managed to nab the bottom off of it and now it looks like it's flying or hovering and that's how I display it which is pretty cool they did make a collector's edition of uh, this but I've never managed to find one if I do, for a, a decent price, I may uh, upgrade and get that. And there we go. That's our DeLoreans. And so there we are at the end of the video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, obviously hit the like button. Share it with other people that may enjoy this video. Every view counts. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. But if you really enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you have any of these cars? Would you like some of these cars? Um, 
are you interested in seeing some more Hollywood Hot Wheels? I have a whole bunch from all different movies. The next ones I will do will be Batman. So um, if you're interested in seeing my Batman collection, then let me know in the comments and I shall see about making it. As I said at the beginning, this was only part one, so um, it would be a shame not to do a part two, wouldn't it? And maybe I can make a series of it. I'm also thinking of doing my, J I have a few James Bond, Hot Wheels James Bond cars I'd like to compare to their Corgi equivalents. So um, that might be something interesting. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.